guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're a frequent watcher, welcome back. Today I have Jackie. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to be asking her questions that guys are afraid to ask us girls. So I have 20 questions here and I just want you to answer them as honest as possible. <laughs> Don't sugar. <laughs> Alright, do girls actually like pics? Yeah, for my man. <laughs> like I <laughs> Yeah, it's just not appropriate. Mm -mm. There's no part of me that's like, oh wow, a random man. Like, mm -mm. I feel like if you're not my man and you send this to me, you're sending you're it to everybody. Okay. And you are. Okay. <laughs> and you are. Is it okay to wake a girl up in the middle of the night for a session? Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Don't wake my ass up at four in the morning asking me no foolishness. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna say what I'm feeling cause it's four in the morning and now you would know it. It's only certain sessions I'm really <laughs> equipped to handle at four in the morning. When you spoon with a guy, is it to get intimate or is it for legit cuddles? <laughs> it depends on the time of day, it depends on the mood. I feel like there's a certain type of cuddle that you give. There's a certain motion that us girls do and you know. No way you're poking your butt out to get warmth. I mean, like, sometimes. I know damn way. Right. We live in Florida. That's Nobody's good. poking their booty out to get warm. My ex-boyfriend was so, so warm all the time. There's no way. We are in Florida. Sometimes you really no, just want to cuddle. sometimes you just want to cuddle. Guys don't understand that. I don't, yeah. I don't think. If I'm watching a movie. If I want to see this movie. Avengers is on. I just want to watch the movie. Do girls stalk their ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend? It depends on the ex-boyfriend. I think it hurts feelings. Like you're just, you're looking to compare and you don't need to do that. I think it just depends on the ex. Like there are some exes like I can get oh, flying yeah. shit in I'm like, with. I thank God. She yeah, like girl, you. you don't need to know. Yeah. But you are so nice to be multitasking. Yeah, I'm oh. like Basil. I'm a whole mom. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. Does body count on a man matter? Literally, body count on no one matters. Honestly, I feel like, dude, at this point, we grown. Just be clean. And I feel like that's why body count is a thing because ain't nobody out here getting tested. Nobody. When in reality, to ask. because if off rip, you telling guys like there is no sex, like you gonna get some real man who gonna be like, you know what, I'm not even I ready can't. for that. Or you'll get so, some guys that are super committed to that. Yeah, I agree. 100%. So you you automatically eliminate like half of okay, so I give up. your dating pool. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. So yeah, body counts do not matter. They should not matter. What's one thing men do that girls secretly hate? I have an answer for this one. Hold on, let me hear your answer because I don't know. Excessive compliments. <gasps> because then it just seems like a task, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like it just. Or how do you like, respond after the fit? Like it's different if like if I'm getting dolled up, dude. If you just heard me fart and like my hair is in a bun, like I know oh, when yeah, I'm like no. toe up to the floor. You know it's crazy because I think some guys actually mean it. My hair's wrapped. I look janky. Come on, everybody know me and Miss Bonnie. That's my Bonnie. That we, we are a duo. The not only hanging out guy. I have 23 years of me living that has seen me with my hair. I will not <laughs> sleep with you if I cannot go to sleep after with my bonnet on. Cause who gonna pay for my hair? Do you think I just do this naturally? Like, no. No. I've had my bonnet since it feel like 1985. <laughs> Still suck on that one? Yeah, I yeah. can't think of anything that like... Until it happens. Oh, you're good. We can go back to that one okay. if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. If girls can tell their girlfriends about sleeping with a guy, why can't a guy? You can. I didn't know that was a thing. They're if you're friends. telling your the guy you're sleeping with to not tell the boys that you, it's because you already plotting to sleep with another person. Yeah. Group. I didn't know that was a thing. We yeah. weren't supposed to be telling it's, people. It's a thing. You should know all the friends. You got to pick the best one. <laughs> and you imagine sleeping with a guy that you think is fine, and then you see I his friend, and you're like, you like you when you got the ugly friend. And you're <laughs> like, <laughs> next question: Is size important? Yes. It's not as important as. I think guys think it is. Yeah. It's not that deep. Yeah, <laughs> until it is. <laughs> <laughs> there are other components of the penis that. Can I say penis? Yeah, I mean, it's a oh. it's a scientific term. So okay. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I grow up, Jacqueline. <laughs> so many other things that are important versus like size. You know, he got it, and he got it. You got it. I'm trying to get it. All right. Next question. When should a man know that he needs to give up on chasing a woman? <laughs> Would she tell you to stop to leave her alone like <laughs> they don't do that i think okay. there's a way that a woman will tell a man to leave her alone that he knows she's actually being like, serious, serious though yeah i will tell you straight up i'm just not interested if i'm honest <laughs> what three qualities make up a husband this could be a personal preference or like a general opinion 
three qualities that make up a, a whole husband. A whole hubby. <laughs> I'm looking for those in 2020, just so we're clear. <laughs> just so we're clear. We ain't accepting nothing no, less. Like, no, I need a whole husband by the end of this year. I'm not kidding. A whole <laughs> Basil's husband. like, mom's not allowed to get married. Yeah. I think you have to have discipline. Just discipline all around because you need discipline to communicate. That's 100%. You need discipline with your money. It's all about balance. You have to be funny, dude. Because, like, imagine just living your whole life not really laughing. Or not meaning you're laughing. You just got to be on the same wave. I think when two people are not equally yoked, when you pull in, they push in. When they push in, you pull. Y'all arguing all the time, literally over bull. You just have to be equally yoked. To me, that's the third one. Like, I like and, that. And I learned that in my last relationship. It was like everything was great mm -hmm. until it wasn't. If you're not equally yoked, one thing can literally mm -hmm. snowball into a bunch of other shit that in your brain you're like, damn, I didn't even know that was an issue. I know. I will say now, I understand why certain things happen because I can take responsibility for the shit I've done. All I'm gonna say is like, always try to take something from a breakup. If you learn something from the breakup, it's really not. It's not. A waste it, it wasn't of time. a waste of time. I agree. I realized that I would tolerate things that I always said I never would tolerate. That's me. From a certain person, you will take whatever they deal you, but when it comes to your husband or your wife, it's just certain stuff that they not even going to put you through. Like, you would take it. Everybody is like, oh, when you find the right one, everything just clicks. I feel like if it's the right person, you can get through anything. Come on, like, everybody have a different love language. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta get through no man beating on you. That's no. not stuff. No. That's not getting through. That's, you need to go. If a man has a different religion than you, could you look past it and work out? Or is it a big no? It just depends on the person. I don't know if I could date a guy that doesn't believe in God though. Me personally, I, I've dated a guy that didn't believe in anything, but he was also like kind of bashing me. You know what I mean? And that's and where, I, that's can't where I can't do it. it I, if you don't believe in God, mm -hmm. okay, do you? We yeah. never have to even talk about it unless, you know, it's Sunday morning and I'm blessed and never would have made it. No! Like you, be you better. Sing. But, but I think that's a part of that being equally yoked thing. Y'all yeah. don't always gotta agree, but as long as y'all can respect what each other got going on, then, then it is what it is. I think the hardest thing would be when it comes time to like actually make real decisions and have children. Are you yeah. gonna be a part of my life? Am I gonna be a part of yours? Are we gonna let our children gonna... decide? You don't know how to communicate, it ain't gonna work. That will work. It ain't gonna I, work. I can agree. Beard or no beard? It depends on the person. Yo! <laughs> Yo, it's a fit on the person. Facial hair, Jackie. Like Michael B. Jordan. I love facial hair, but facial. <laughs> I I like facial hair on a man. I do. Me too. Some guys look good with a clean face. Yeah, that's fair. Next question. Mm -hmm. Do women really hate when a man is too nice or too emotional? It depends on what type of emotional. Like we're if talking. a guy's always like. Constantly talking about insecurities or talking about like no, nobody want that. Like, would you want a girl if she talked about how insecure she was all the time? All the time. I think it's like just sad. It's like you don't want nobody pitying you. Why was why is that a question? I mean, when I hear the word emotional, I don't really think of like sad. I think of like controlling caring. because no, I think caring. It, but I feel like if a guy is asking like, do guys like emotional? Oh that's yeah, not, like, it that's depends on what emotions context, we're talking that's about. Fair. Yeah, because controlling. Not I'm me. Not who? You, you what? Controlling who? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not asking, asking you if I can wear this. I know there are some girls who like for their men to be jealous all the time. No, I, I don't hate, like that. I hate. No. I, I that, you hate remember the old that. question? What's something that a man do that get? <laughs> You hate like, jealousy? Like to that ties in with the insecurity. And I know some time girls are like, well, you want that every once in a while. No. No, I want my man no. to be so insecure to... that I could literally be in a room with 10 other men. And he'd be like, dude, I barely banged her. Like, yeah. <laughs> Do girls really like the small things or is it just BS? <laughs> I like the little things. I like it when a guy is just thoughtful enough to be like, I'm going to write her a little note and put it here. So That's she not knows little something. though. Why is that not little? Dude, bear it's it, so bearing simple. your emotions. It's simple, but it's not little. If Fair. it was little, that's what you would get from every guy. To me, letters are like a big thing. Like, I, I, I write letters letter. to, for Christmas gifts. I love a good letter. Yeah, that's, that's not a little I thing. I think that's like a cute gesture. It's simple, but it ain't little. A, Go to the like club and question. try to get a man to write you a letter. <laughs> he gonna be like, yeah. Question mark? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, he gonna write on I'm the okay. damn post-it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like little things, but I do little things for myself. I guess at this point, I'm looking for somebody to wow me. Which, I mean, I guess could come in a bunch of little things. Yeah. I only need one really good wow. One. Now it's like we're in a weird place where like, 
when girls do want that, guys are like, oh, she she wants too much. Dude, no. There are guys out there who will literally move oceans. And we're out here settling for Come men on. who want to do little to nothing. Uh -huh. Our first date, we don't got to go to Pinihana's no. and you don't got to buy the whole restaurant. Like that's, It's that's not that deep. Yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. so this is so crazy. So this was my first boyfriend ever. <laughs> and he did such a huge, like, way to ask me out. Oh, and I literally only said, yeah, because he did it in front of everyone. And you felt obligated. And I was like, yeah! Yeah. Like, oh. But if that's not your love language, like, that's not for you. No, and that's not my love language. Me like, neither. I don't like gifts. Me, like, I just want affection. And time. Or I just, yeah, I just want somebody who, like, sit and talk to you. Yeah. Like, let's just... Like, hang out. First day we gotta go out. Yeah. It's like, you could be a killer. Yeah. When a man have a daughter, <laughs> oh my he, God. he's gonna feel like she should not settle for anything less than that. So why would I? And it's weird because you see men with who daughters. Still who still dogs girls. What if that was to your me, child? To me, so embarrassing. It I would be so embarrassed if my dad treated women like shit. Well, mine does. I think men think that women always want these grand gestures. And it's like, no, no dude, we don't. I just literally want you to mean whatever it is you're doing with the right intentions. In my opinion, little things is watch Netflix and scratch my hair through my bonnet. You know what I mean? Ooh, like, don't even get just, me. Like that is. I feel like fucking me. basil. Yeah. Oh, Being body beautiful. against the world. Facts. No matter what. What position do girls secretly hate but pretend to like to make a man happy? I like sex. <laughs> <laughs> like, honey, <laughs> bring all the love in here, honey. <laughs> what is the most attractive thing about a man? Confidence. 100%. Easy. That's easy. Just what about physically? Tidy. If I'm honest. You brought all this stank home and you think you're gonna lay in my <laughs> In my clean bed? Oh, oh, no, no, no. After hygiene, then I pay attention to like your teeth. In my brain, it's not really your teeth. It's, it's, it's your smile you as a whole. It's how you take care of your teeth. Yes. And I love a good smile. Oh my God. And then, so what is the most annoying thing about a guy? The fact that it takes them a while to realize they, they are sometimes problems. Like contrary you. to what your mama got you believe in. It's you as Sometimes well. it's you, dude. I can get through anything else except for a man who who always think he's not the problem. Not the problem. I can't work to that. Because mm -hmm. that's basically you telling me like you need to keep changing until we stop arguing. Even though we're arguing because you're not changing. No, I can't do that. Is not having your man's passwords a red flag? Grow up! You know my mom always said? I she just said, when care. you go snooping in phones, you find exactly what you're looking for. And now your damn feelings hurt. <laughs> and you're probably gonna stay. What did Tamar Braxton say? She said, oh my gosh. She said, um, let your man do what the hell he doing in peace. If you are not ready to leave, if you are not preparing yourself to leave, let your man cheat in peace. She got so much backlash, you're this not gonna leave. This ties into a quote I saw on Twitter, and it was like, why take back a cheater if you're just gonna hold the cheating against them? Dude, let it go. If, if we gonna be together- If you're trying to work, you cannot hold this over that person. Okay. And it hurts, That's 100%. Like, you know, my Aunt Chrissy said, she was like, her and her husband have been together for like over 20 years. Yeah. And she was like, if you're still mad at the end of the week, like mad at the end That's of the week, person. it's not your person. I agree. That's and I was crazy. like- I was like, yeah, that's real. Oh, wow. Like, that's real. Like, you, your feelings can still be hurt. You can have hurt feelings yeah. and still be willing to work through something. But if you were, like, mad, that's a hell of an emotion. Angry. That's not your person. Yeah, because I went through that where I had to tell my man, yeah. I'm not mad. I'm just embarrassed, yeah. so I need a minute. Because yeah. once I'm embarrassed, you just have to come down from that on your own. Yeah. No one can tell you otherwise. Yeah. Come you on, can't Catherine. just you can't just keep holding it over their head. No. You know what I mean? No. I also yeah. feel like if you feel like you have to go through your significant other's phone. It's a lot, dude. If you want a password so that you can actively use it, it's because you feel somewhere deep down inside you need to babysit your partner so that they don't do what you know they are capable of doing. So it's like why be with them? Come on. If a man's family doesn't like you, will the relationship crumble? It depends. Um, I think if a man is not close with his family then it don't matter, like, then it won't matter. I, I have certain people in my yeah, family yeah. that if they don't like you, it's a wrap, this ain't even. My mom is one of those people. Even when me and my ex broke up, my dad, he never bashed him, because yeah. he liked him. Yeah. He was like, I think he's a cool it's dude. It's not your person. And that's what he said. He's like, I think he cool, but he was like, I it's just think you. You, you grow him way faster than he's growing. Mm -hmm. You ready for the last question? Yes. Why Wait. did I say yes like that? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's one way to not approach a girl? <laughs> the ain't no mama. Oh. <laughs> not call me little mama. Don't Do not see me, bro. If you don't ain't. Whistle. I will literally turn around and be like, <laughs> "Bitch, what the fuck do you think this is?" Like another thing is, don't grab on me. No, I don't touch you. I'll go to the local bars and like the guys will have all this room and they'll just be like, "Hey, hey," and I'm like, <laughs> "Scoot over, yo, scoot That's over." Right. 
to like second like, dating right now, so I don't even know. What, I'm not even looking to date. That, I'm okay. Girl, that's because you're trying to get back booed up. <laughs> Yeah. I heard God say this is gonna be your husband. So which is why I went through so and much stuff. Do you feel like he still is? Sometimes. I recently heard the Lord say yeah. this. And I literally heard God say, Y'all arguing about something that has nothing to do with you. Get in your car and leave. That's crazy. And I literally stopped arguing, I shut down, I just got in my car. Like no. he cannot be the man that you need him to be right now. Do you believe in wrong right person, wrong time? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like it's not gonna be an easy thing, you know? It's not gonna be like Yeah, it'll easy. be worth it though. Yeah. It'll be worth it. But it's definitely not going to be easy. Yeah. When I got in my yeah. car and I left, I did not cry because in my brain, the Lord is telling me, like, this is not a, a never, this is a not now. Because <laughs> this dating shit is for a fucking burn. Oh my gosh. It's crazy that God knows exactly who we're going to end up with. And meanwhile, we're like, is it this guy? guy? Bro, my mom would always say, two people who are meant to be together are going to be no together. Matter no what. matter what. Girl, you want to know how this the whole conversation started? <laughs> you asked me what is a way to not be hit on. And this is regular tea. Live your life. I feel like our generation is making it complicated because none of us want to get hurt. And it's also social media. I think our generation just make it too hard. For and no I, reason. Yeah, I do feel like our generation has lost that hunter aspect that we were talking about. Slime and DM is not hunting. I'm ready for a husband. Yeah. And if you're not ready to for a wife, don't don't even talk. Don't, don't even look me. at me. Yeah. I'm ready for the chapter where I get to go to parties and gigs and stuff with, with somebody, somebody that I know is like mine. Yeah. I'm just waiting for sparks. That's it. Yeah. Those butterflies. Come on. That's the thing. And I mm -hmm. feel like our generation don't feel them because we are not being vulnerable enough with each other. Yeah. Because everyone's like, don't nobody want to get hurt. Don't want to get hurt. It's weak. It's like not weak. More of the story, dudes. Become hunters. Be hunters. We need to bring that back into this new culture. Mm -hmm. But you can also be in tune with your feelings. That's the thing. It's 2020 now. You don't have to be hard all the time. Relax. This is why guys are like, we're so confusing. <laughs> Literally because it's all about balance. But you on you only yeah. will ever get that perfect balance when you're evenly yoked. Do better. Be better. Love better. It's not that hard. Yeah. At the end of the day, learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Don't let anybody hold your mistakes over you. Don't move on with your life. Yeah. If somebody holding a mistake over your head and they still like... To me, that don't even make sense. No. Like, you want to make me feel guilty, but you still want to be with me for what? I agree with and, that. And if the answer is just because I love you, that's not enough. I always say love is not enough. Bro, sometimes. you cannot go. My mom always said, you cannot take love to the FPL place and, and pay the electricity uh -oh. off of love. I put it on a whole 1%. <laughs> That one percent is stronger than the other ninety-nine. I better, no. I better plug it in. That one percent oh. is stronger than the ninety-nine. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and close out today's video. Um, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I want to thank Jackie for featuring and having a little bit of TED talk to me. Thank you. I hope to see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm. Jackie will be in more videos, so please stay mm -hmm. tuned. Jackie, do you want to plug your Instagram or any social media? Oh yeah. My Insta is Swim Jack Swim. Swim is spelled S W M underscore J A Q. Boom. Swim Jack I'll Swim. I'll probably put that on the bottom of the screen. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> y'all are probably like, is what? <laughs> what is it? Swizzum. <laughs> Swizzum Jackum Swizzum. All right, guys. That is it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.